Welcome back to Titi Healthy Vlog. Today I'm in my working room because outside is 42C, so I can't be outside without AC. Today I have some tips to share with you about how to choose your cooking oil. A lot of people say that olive oil is good for your health because it contains a lot of unsaturated fat. But if you use it for deep frying, it's not that good. If you want to know why, stay in tune. The study shows that eating the right oil in the right amount is more benefit to your health than avoiding it completely. You need to remember that your body needs oil to dissolve vitamin A, D, E, and K. Let's start off with knowing what type of fat in your cooking oil. There are two main types of fat in your cooking oil. The first one is saturated fat, and the second one is unsaturated fat. Let's go for the first one first. The first one is saturated fat. If you are normal or healthy, it is fine for you to eat it. However, if you're in a high risk group, which are the high blood pressure, the diabetes, obesity, or even genetic, you should avoid it. You can find a lot of saturated fat in the fat from animal, coconut oil, and palm oil. And this is just example. The second one is unsaturated fat. You may see it in the monounsaturated fat or polyunsaturated fat. Both of them is good for your health. It can increase your HDL level and lower your LDL level, which is good for your cholesterol level. And you can find this unsaturated fat in rapeseed oil, safflower oil, olive oil, and rice wine oil. The difference between saturated fat and unsaturated fat in the cooking aspect is that saturated fat is more stable than unsaturated fat. So when you heat it up, the saturated fat is more stable than the unsaturated fat. So some people claim that it's better to use the high saturated fat, such as the coconut oil or palm oil, for deep frying rather than use the olive oil, which is high in unsaturated fat, for deep frying. Oh, there are one type of fat that you need to avoid. It's trans fat. Trans fat happen when they add hydrogen into unsaturated fat to extend their shelf life in manufactured. Trans fat is very, extremely harmful to your health. So I would recommend you to avoid it at all costs. The next information that you need to know to help you choosing your oil is smoking point. Do you ever heat your oil? and then you forget about it and by the time that you realize it it's smoke everywhere in the kitchen that is mean you heat the oil past the smoking point what is smoking point? you may ask smoking point is the temperature at which the oil basically start producing the smoke different oil produce the smoke at different temperature when the oil past the smoking point it start losing the flavor and the nutrition benefit I will put some of the smoking point here and let's go through it together. Let's see the first one, the unrefined rapeseed oil and safflower oil. The smoking point is really low, it's at 107. So when you pan fry it, the temperature already go above 120. So it's not good for it. The next one is the olive oil, extra virgin wow. and the peanut oil. This two is at 160. But remember, when you deep fry it, it's go up to 180 or sometimes even 200. The next one is the sesame oil and the coconut oil, unrefined version. It can go up to 177. And the refined coconut oil and rice wine oil, these two can withstand up to 232. And the last one, the palm oil, it can go up to 235. As I show you in the table, the unrefined version and refined version. The unrefined version contain full health benefit and some of them still contain antioxidant. For example, this one I will show you. It's the, uh, it's the red seed oil, extra virgin. Let me show you on the camera. It's not focus. Uh-huh. It's the red seed oil extra virgin is cold press unrefined version and you can see that it's contained the omega-3 6 and 9 which can find it in fish okay let's focus back my face my face focus my face yeah yeah 
but the uh, unrefined version have a really low smoking point. When you refine it, the smoking point go up, but the health benefit go down. So this information will help you choose what type of oil to choose on which purpose. Talking about the price, the unrefined version is much much more expensive than the refined version. But this one contains more health benefit. So remember, this one without heat, this one if you want to heat it up, this one is better than this one. Oh, talking about the defrying, I have some technique that my grandma shared with me and I'm going to share with you. When you heat up the oil using low heat, so you are in control and the oil is not passing the smoking point. When you start defrying your food, use medium heat to cook your food. When you finish defrying, before you lift your food up, for a brief moment, increase your heat up to high heat. This one will reduce the oil absorption in your food. To sum up, if you're gonna eat your oil raw or without heating it, I would recommend to have the unrefined with high unsaturated fat oil. This one you will get like all the health benefit. For example, the red seed oil, the safflower oil, and the olive oil. This one contains a really high unsaturated fat and is good for your health. But if you're gonna heat your oil, I would recommend you to go with the refined oil such as the coconut oil and the palm oil that have high saturated fat. But in my house, we use the rice bun oil. The rice bun oil, even though it contains high unsaturated fat, some people say that it is not stable for deep frying. But this one, the smoking point, as you, as you can see in the table, is 232. So it's stable enough for the deep frying. And our house, we use this for pan fried and deep fried. This is all the oil trick I have for you. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe to this channel. And if you have any question or comment, please leave it down below. And see you next time. Bye!